Every person in the world is affected by airs. It's the atmospheric infrared sounder, a revolutionary instrument that is able to look at the infrared, the thermal radiation that is emitted by the Earth and by the atmosphere. AERS is the first instrument to actually be able to do something like this. And we have liftoff of NASA's Aqua spacecraft. It was designed to provide data to help improve weather forecasting and to help us understand what's going on with climate. Because it lasted so long, it allows us to have a record of climate change that is completely unique. So it shifted from being a revolutionary weather mission to being a revolutionary climate mission. Climate is all about understanding trends. The longer the data set is, the better you'll be able to understand what's going on. Now we have a 20-year data record. That data set in itself will be looked at for the next 100 years or so, or longer. It will give people a glimpse into this real critical time period in our history. The Arctic's gone from being what it was 30 or 40 years ago to what it is today, which is a lot warmer, a lot less cloudy, a lot more water vapor, which airs observes, a lot less ice. There's also this wealth of information in the air spectra about many different trace gases. Carbon monoxide, ozone, ammonia, carbon dioxide, also methane. One thing we can see in the air's data over time is large fire events throughout the world. Air pollution is a global problem. We can see those plumes moving across the world. AIRS data are used in the development of the U.S. Drought Monitor. We do produce results from AIRS to understand how flu is spreading. When the atmosphere is drier, there appears to be a tendency for people to 